Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and in today's short video I will make a musical walkthrough of uh, the, one of the last works that I did. It was Zuster's Breakout written by Hans Zimmer for the movie Madagascar which I orchestrated and in the original video I played it three times. I played it once with the free orchestra from Project Sam, I played it once with an orchestral patch from uh, Orchestral Essentials 1 and then I went for the real deal. I orchestrated it track by track with everything that Orchestral Essentials has to offer. And fun fact, I got a um, copyright claim, uh, but not for the whole video, not for the three times that I played the piece, but exactly for the piece from five minutes something until seven minutes something, um, where it was orchestrated with the um, Orchestral Essentials from Project Sam, which in a certain way is a compliment because um, the YouTube uh, intelligence <laughs> thinks uh, that that's the, the real piece. And uh, yeah, that's quite funny. So today I won't play through the whole um, piece. I just will go into snippets and show you a little bit why it sounds the way it does. So let's do it. As always, if you like the stuff I'm doing, then please support my small channel. Just hit that subscribe button, means a lot to me. And if you would like to buy me a coffee, you know I really drink a lot of coffee. There's the chance from today on. The link is in the description. Much appreciated. Thank you. So, mm. the first version um, I did with um, the Free Orchestra, and I can't repeat this often enough. This library from Project Sam is free. The download link is in the description. And what did I do here? Obviously, the beginning was just with um, the short strings. I can open up even here the contact so you see what it is. It's the short strings. And then I really had fun um, using the tongue in cheek patch, which is just. comedy patch eh? and it's so nice and I just thought okay it's animation it's comedy let's bring out the melody the very first time with this comedy patch <laughs> and I liked it it's just about having fun yeah I didn't have in mind anything else with this and um, okay then I have here the bombastic basses doing their thing and they do it really good and as you can see from the velocity I have them going nearly all the time full velocity then you have this nice sound you know there's the piano and the brass and uh, the, the Gran Casa and the timpani and what else I uh, just um, triggered by velocity only here then Only the strings. I have here even uh, the power strike for um, the crashes and the booms and the bangs and all this stuff. There's the timpani here. There comes the timpani. Here, if I remember well, there is even this symbol and then the <laughs> symbol roll. Fantastic. Um, blah -dum. The bombastic basses, the short strings. Then we come to this piece where we do have the melody line. And obviously, this library is a little limited to lines with the long patch, with the legato patch or whatever, but I used the sordino strings, I used the epic horns and I used the choir to get this melody line. Then I do continue with the ominous lows bringing out the bass line. Which in context the whole bit sounds like this. 
then I do have the Pandora Bursts and they are really fantastic. And even here I played with the velocity, so when they come in they do BAM! And you hear the sound the very first time, but as I didn't want it to dominate, um, I then just went down with the velocity, so at the beginning you have this big... Then it gets... ...quieter and quieter, so it's still in the mix, but it doesn't dominant anymore. So, um, always a little bit in the background and then yes, here in the short strings, for example, um, here you see that I worked a lot with velocity and the result is this. You, you hear how the sound changes. So, uh, I mean, the whole piece is somewhere linked here. Uh, if, you, if you would like to listen to it again then on the other video, as I said before, I won't play it again uh, <laughs> for a simple reason. But this sound... It's a free library. It's a free library. And I think, yeah, now we come to the, to the big ending, the big ending, and here I used. Again, the Pandora Bursts, the epic horns, if we just listen to them, they sound like this. I have the choir here coming in. Um, if I go to the short strings here you see again how much I worked with the velocity just to change the sound that's so important whatever library you use play with velocity play with modulation play, play with expression then the sound changes and then it gets realistic and then you get your copyright claims <laughs> And I wanted to end this piece with somewhat of a surprise and I went for one of the sounds from the Pandora Panic. That's as Project Sam as it can get. You don't get too many of these effects with other libraries and the whole piece ends with this sound. So yeah, this is what I did uh, Tuesday's breakout with the free orchestra and um, then I had the second version where I just played with a full orchestra patch. So in Orchestral Essentials there's even a full orchestra patch so you see you have the strings, the brass, the piano and the percussion all layered out. Lots of fun to play around with. And yeah, I, I did the same thing again. I played with my MIDI file and um, the basses, they are mostly mostly played as um, the fullest velocity just to underline the bomb the booms and then here for example I see you know bomb ba -ba -bum. so yes work with the velocity I think now you understood even here you will see how it changes so, um, more interesting in this case is the melody line, because even here I have this just, okay, um, everything together in the orchestra, but obviously as I wanted to 
underline the melody, you see there are these red dots and wherever it's red or uh, a dark orange, that's the melody. So within the whole orchestra going on, you see there are notes that are more loud than the others. That's just the velocity, that's just the velocity. So work with it, work with it a lot, um, play around with it a lot. Here you see nice changes because for example here I do have see there's a loud note and there's the rest and that's just divided by the velocity and then here Okay, and then yeah, we come to the big final, and this is then of course where I needed it again. Yeah, that's it from the full orchestral patch within. Um, orchestral essentials and then now let's go for the epic version as I called it and I really had a lot of fun taking um, the various MIDI events copy and pasting them in as you can see many different tracks and then just bring out the whole stunning sound that there is within this library and um, what would I like to show you uh, obviously with the strings, the short strings, it's always the same. Okay, and even here I started. To have my accents with the, the stronger velocity, I do the same in the basses. And even here, the, the, the most magic happens towards the end, where we do have these runs. Yeah, here, this is a nice example. Listen to it. How the sound changes, because obviously even those, they are velocity triggered. nice nice short strings and I think I said this already in the past the orchestral essentials is one of my favorite sketching tools if I need a job done really quick look at it strings staccato finished there are no eight um, microphone positions and there is no staccato staccato shorter staccato even a little more shorter staccato maybe a little longer staccato long um, because what happens to me when I make a sketch or if I need to, to show something to someone um, then I get lost in these details once in a while it happens to just well maybe this microphone mix sounds better and maybe the staccato a little shorter sounds better than the staccato short and that's just losing time once you have the job and once you have to finish it really at a high quality level then yes all these articulations they are really useful and they are needed but for a first sketch this is what you have string staccato and you start to play you know, you don't waste time by choosing the very right instrument for that moment, which you maybe not even know at this stage what the right sound may be. So, again, just this. That's so nice, that's so nice. Um, I will continue. Yeah, with the, with the longs, obviously, there was this melody line, and now having orchestral essentials, I do have the strings long, so the melody I could play with the... I doubled it and this even interesting with this patch where I just stacked together the legato flutes with clarinets and the woodwinds long notes so I have something like uh, woodwinds arranged and 
interesting sound very interesting sound i guess um we continue i have the strings long then even here continuing to underline the whole thing then i do have them again at the end to bring a little tension in with this high note okay we come to another favorite of mine the orchestral essentials one brass short we will go through this um, just wherever I start they're really nice yeah here you can see again how the sound changes <laughs> just by changing the velocity so yeah if you take a line like this where again I played And this is, you know, where, where it gets interesting. If you play like this with the sound, then the sound changes all the time. <laughs> so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, really. Okay, I do have the brass shorts even um, for, for the bass line. Here you can see a little bit. Even that's such a great sound, like. Play with it, play with it, really play with it. I do have the woodwind shorts. Let's see if I find a line where I play a little more with um, the velocity layers for the different sounds. Maybe here. Yeah. <laughs> I think that this, that's the bit that made me laugh a little bit. Um, listen to it. So it's just, you know, the, the oboe and the flute player and the whole orchestra around and they need to catch up with them and it's less like <laughs> <laughs> blowing into their instruments. <laughs> nice sound, really nice sound. And yeah, there, there it's com accompanying with the staccato. So I can find the real line where I, yeah, this one. Nice, nice. Um, I do have, obviously, with the orchestral essentials, this, the big cymbals, and they are really nice cymbal rolls. Um, the big cymbals roll like... Just hit. And coming in together with the timpani from the orchestral essentials. So, you know, listen to the timpani. I will just solo them. Really nice with the big symbol. Then again, these, these rolls, I love them. I absolutely love them. And I think um, that's it nearly. No, I forgot the choir. Even here, I had the choir. So at the end, And then there is one last thing that I didn't talk about yet, which even I had in the pizzicato. I had the pizzicato in the basses. Yeah, to give the whole thing a little more rhythm, especially here to the end. And 
I had a short piece which was here where I gave the, um, the melody a little bit, the whole theme to the pizzicato strings. Okay, so they sound like this. It's the strings pizzicato. And then they're just accompanying. Yeah, so I think... I think that's, I think that's it. it. We went through the whole piece. I showed you all the stunning sounds that you can find in orchestral essentials. I showed you how important it is to play with the different velocity layers. Um, I think there are no more secrets in it. I showed you everything that I that I did within here. Everything. Um, yeah, that's it from my side. Yeah. So enjoy this evening. Enjoy your weekend. Have a lot of coffee. <laughs> Have fun. Make good music. And see you in the next video then. Bye bye. Bye. Echo. I love writing in D.